Surprising Bionic Robots with Artificial Intelligence 2022 You can't help being amazed if you see the surprising modern bionic robots blended with artificial intelligence. You have no idea how they helped medical science take a giant leap of advancement. They are making our lives a dozen times better. But how are they doing it? What is the recipe? Well, in this video, we will share some of the surprising bionic robots with artificial intelligence you should be looking out for in 2022. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Don't forget to watch the end of today's video to see the top 10 bionic robots. But first, we ask that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of our uploads. So without further ado, let's get started. The top 10 bionic robots scientists are coming closer to producing a bionic person that costs $6 million. We can now copy or store more organs and body components than ever before, such as providing blind people the ability to manufacture a tongue that is more precise than any human taste bud. So you see, we have advanced technology. In number 10, we got bionic eyes. Being able to see even the most fundamental aspects of life, movement and form may make a huge impact when you're blind. Both the Argus 2 retinal prosthesis, which is now through FDA testing, and a device designed by Harvard Research fellow Dr. John Pesaris collect fundamental visual information via camera, convert it to electrical impulses, and deliver it wirelessly to implanted electrodes. The Argus 2 is a device that employs electrodes implanted in the eye to aid patients who have lost some retinal function. Dr. Pizaris's technologies, which are still in the early phases of development, would transfer visual input directly to the brain, bypassing the eyes. Both methods operate best with persons who have previously been able to sight since their brains are already programmed to process the data. The visual experience is required for the appropriate developments of the visual cortex. A customized pair of spectacles with a small digital camera embedded in the lens would be worn by the patient. A connection would connect the camera to an external signal processor, which would then interpret the picture into brain impulses and send them wirelessly to an implanted stimulator. The stimulator would provide pictures to the visual system through an electrode surgically implanted in the brain. Regrown Bone Number 9 Researchers have known about proteins that can cause bone tissue to produce its patches, replace missing or damaged areas since the 1960s. Unfortunately, that technique was never ideal, and it frequently resulted in the growth of the wrong sort of tissue or the formation of a bone where one should not exist. In the year 2005, UCB1, a specifically created protein capable of just activating the growth of particular types of cells, was used by UCLA researchers to tackle the problem. The protein is currently being utilized to create new bone that can fuse and immobilize parts of vertebrae, allowing some patients to experience relief from severe back pain. The portable pancreas is number 8. The artificial pancreas can monitor a person's blood sugar levels and alter insulin levels to fit their body's requirements. According to Eric Kowalski, head of strategic research projects at the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, it will most likely be on the market in a few years. The gadget, according to Kowalski, would be a hybrid of two current technologies, an insulin pump and a continuous glucose monitor. The contraction may make it simpler for insulin-dependent diabetics to live more normal lives and avoid the disfiguring and life-threatening consequences of having too little or too much blood sugar. Inhuman taste is number seven. According to Dean Nakirk, professor of computer and electric engineering at the University of Texas at Austin, the tongue can be a powerful instrument, but it's also a highly subjective one. Food firms use the electronic tongue, a gadget invented by Nakirk, and his colleagues to analyze liquids and pick out the exact chemical makeup to reproduce the same flavor every time. Microspheres, microscopic sensors that change color when exposed to stimuli like glucose are used in Nakirk's tongue. As a result, a system has been developed that can not only replace the person who says, these taste wonderful, but also ensure that the chemistry of the excellent flavor is dependably recreated. New limbs are number six. By using the power of the mind, amputees may now utilize a prosthetic limb in the same manner they would a genuine one. Dr. Todd Culkin of the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago came up with the idea. A healthy motor nerve connects the bionic arm to the brain, allowing it to run into the patient's missing limb. These nerves are redirected to another part of the body, such as the chest, where the electrodes in the bionic arm can pick up the nerve impulses. When the patient moves her hand, the nerve would normally deliver the signal to the genuine hand instead sends it to the prosthetic one. Dr. Kelkin's team is now aiming to improve the arm by using surviving sensory nerves to transmit temperature, vibration, and pressure sensations from the bionic arm to the patient's brain. Smart Knee Number 5 
Although the kind of aesthetic knee built by MIT artificial intelligence researchers Hugh Herr and R.E. Winfield isn't a part of the body that you'd expect to think for itself, it does. Previously, when a patient was first put on an electronic knee system, the technician had to program it. The RHEO knee, on the other hand, develops realistic and pleasant motion on its own by learning how the user walks and using sensors to determine what type of terrain the user is walking on. It makes walking simpler and less taxing with a prosthetic leg. The fourth option is a variable kidney. Basic basics of life, such as eliminating toxins from the blood and maintaining fluid balance, require hours of being hooked up to a dialysis machine the size of a clothes dryer for those with failing kidneys. However, a novel, portable artificial kidney that is tiny and light enough to be worn on a belt system may alter that. The Automated Wearable Artificial Kidney, or AWAK, invented by UCLA's Martin Roberts and David B. Angeline, operates better than standard dialysis, despite its tiny size, because, like a genuine kidney, it may be utilized 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Artificial cells are number 3. When it comes to delivering medications to the exact location in the body, a tablet or an injection won't always be enough. Professor of Bioengineering at the University of Pennsylvania, Daniel Hammer, offers a superior way. Polymer-based artificial cells can imitate the ease with which white blood cells pass through the body. These fictitious cells might carry pharmaceuticals specifically to where they're needed, making the fight against illnesses like cancer easier and safer. Second, the elderly man's new penis. Erectile dysfunction can detract from a man's enjoyment of life. However, Anthony Atala and his Wake Forest University colleagues have devised a way that might restore the spring in many men's steps. In 2006, Atala succeeded in generating new corpora cavernosa for male rabbits who had theirs removed. The spongy tissue that deals with blood during an erection, the new tissue was created using the rabbit's cells, and the rabbits were back to doing what they do best within a month. Synthetics for your brain are number one. It's not as straightforward as replacing a limb when it comes to replacing a section of your brain. However, it may be in the future a computer chip developed by Theodore Berger, a professor at the University of Southern California, might replace the hippocampus, a region of the brain that regulates short-term memory and spatial awareness. A hippocampal implant, which is frequently destroyed by diseases like Alzheimer's and strokes, might assist patients who are otherwise severely incapacitated to maintain normal function. Berger is still putting the implant to the test, but he wants to see more. In 2005, he published a book titled To Word Replacement Parts of the Brain. Arrays of electrodes are implanted in the parts of the brain that govern movements and process the feeling of touch from a neural lip in the robotic neuroprosthetic system. As the patient thinks about moving their arm, the electrodes pick up the activity in the neurons and command the robotic arm to move accordingly. Sensors in the prosthetic hand detect touch sensations such as pushing on particular fingertips and creating electrical impulses that activate the relevant parts of the brain. Even the UChicago research team will continue to develop their prior work with their Pittsburgh collaborators to integrate more dexterity and precision motions onto the prosthesis. Having a human patient allows us to achieve things we couldn't previously, according to one expert. By asking them how they feel, you can get a sense of the quality of the sensations being evoked. Movements may be sculpted to make them more natural and accurate. For us at the University of Chicago, this opens up a whole new universe. This brings us to the end of today's video. Let us know your thoughts on the bionic robots. Do you think it will bring a breakthrough in medical science? Please let us know in the comments section. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We'll be back with another video shortly. Until then, peace.